The definition of sequences. In mathematics, an ordered set of objects or numbers, like a, 1, a, 2, a, 3, a, 4, a, 5, a, 6, and, are said to be in a sequence, if, as per a certain rule, they have a definite value. Each of the objects or numbers contained in a sequence is called a term. The difference between a sequence and any other list of items is that in sequences, you are able to find the term that comes after the last term shown in the set. For example, we have the following shown on screen. Is a sequence, as you can easily find the term that comes after 17. Indeed, it is easy to realize that every successive term is for units greater than the previous one, so the next term that comes after 17 is 17 plus 4 is equal to 21. On the other hand, the number list 4, 6, 11, 20, 21, 29, 34, is not a sequence, as it is impossible to find any common pattern or rule that helps find the term that comes after 34. As for the number of terms they contain, sequences are classified into two main types, finite and infinite. As the name itself suggests, a finite sequence contains a finite number of terms. For example, we have the following shown on screen. Is a finite sequence, as it has a definite first term, 6, and also a definite last term, 34. Look at the curled brackets that are used to indicate the beginning and the end of the sequence. On the other hand, the mathematical sentence, we have the following shown on screen. Is an infinite one, as it is endless on the right. This is indicated by the three dots placed after the fourth term. Likewise, the mathematical sentence, we have the following shown on screen. is infinite, as it has no beginning. This fact is indicated by the three dots that precede the first known term minus 6. Example Which of the following lists of numbers are mathematical sequences? Write their main features. a, 0, 3, 7, 12, 18, 25, 33, 41, 50. B, minus 3, 7, 17, 27. C, 4, 13, 20, 25, 28, 29. D, 0, 8, 11, 17, 29, 34. Solution A, this is a finite mathematical sequence which has a beginning, 0, and an end, 50. It is a sequence because the difference between two consecutive terms increases by one when moving from left to right. This pattern helps identify the other terms that do not appear in the list. b. This is an infinite mathematical sequence, as it has a beginning, minus 3, but not an end. Each successive term is 10 more than the previous one. c. This is an infinite mathematical sequence, as it has an end, 29, but not a beginning. It is a sequence because the difference between two successive terms decreases by 2 when moving from left to right. d. This is a finite list of numbers but not a sequence, as the terms don't follow a specific pattern. That is all for lesson 12.1.1, to continue this tutorial please watch, 12.1.2, the different types of sequences explained. Thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. For more information, calculators, and tutorials, please visit www.icalculator.info.